Hello, I thought I would um, pick up one of these little valves and uh, have a little play again. So it's just an SB um, I'm going to use for an underfloor heating job. Um, half inch valve. Nice little, little jobby there. And uh, you can just see what's going on with it and what I plan to do and um, whether or not it'll work. Um, and then also I thought I'd look at um, messing about with the valve um, and an actuator to set it for mixing and diverting. So i um, got a, an actuator as well to play with. And then also a sole, because I thought I'd have something different. But yeah, see what happens. Okay, so I've got my sole um, and I've got three different actuators. Uh, this one would generally be used for mixing. So you've got a neutral clockwise and counterclockwise. This one is uh, 60 seconds, but it's 90 degrees, so it moves through. 90 degrees, they come in the mid position. Gray wire is just a, a relay, a bit like the orange and gray on a three port valve. Um, but at the moment, it's a bit hard to get a, a standard um, 600, ARA 600 without this wire or, or micro switch. So most of them we buy at the moment come with this. So you can just chop the bugger off or just leave them coiled up. But there's a micro switch in there that you can alter, mind you, I suppose I should say, you can alter the position of the switch with this gray, uh, sorry, green, I'm colorblind or too many souls, but this green uh, lever here will change the position of when the micro switch is activated. So it's quite handy if you wanted to activate a pump or if um, it was in one position here, the motor moves over and it hits a micro switch and you want to activate a normally closed or normally open valve. So it's pretty, pretty handy. Not that I've ever had to use it personally, but yeah, that's the mixer. Then uh, this one's off. Um, the valence is exactly the, the same. Um, 120 seconds, uh, 90 degree. But again, it's neutral, clockwise and then counterclockwise, as you can see there. It just looks slightly different, but you can pull that up and then you can move move the motor. But that's mid position, and where that is is mid position. And then this one is um, used as a diverter, but on here it's um, 90 degrees again. And this one's uh, 60 second, and then you've got neutral, live, and then um, I suppose the switch. Then on the uh, valve bodies, you know, they're all the same, they all except the heads. Um, again, you, you would expect four splines, so you've got one, two, three, and then that's where the uh, chamfered bit is, or shaved off section, which that tells you where the shoe is. Same on the smaller valve here, so you've got one, two, three, and you'd expect a fourth, but it's not there. That's where the shoe is. A uh, bigger valve there, and then that's a half inch. Um, and then the, the smaller the orifice there, the um, more authority it has um, over the flow, really. But, you know, that's uh, another another uh, interesting conversation um, that I've yet to learn the answers to. <laughs> um, maybe some more of these bad boys will solve that. But basically, um, when you open the pack, they all come in the mid position. So that's midway between ear and ear. And this one is midway between ear and ear. And this is midway between ear and ear. Same with that one, midway between there and there. And then that one and that one. And that is 90 degrees full stroke. So if you give it some, then you'll get 
to there in 60 seconds with that one, 60 seconds with that one, and it's going to take you a long time to get to the vinegar stroke on this one, 120 or 240, or if you buy any others. But yeah, basically, I've got a plug here, <clears throat> and I've just got um, live uh, neutral, and then the, li the, the live, I've put another plug on here, or Wago. But basically, this one here is connected in, and you've got uh, live and neutral, and then the black. And on this valve here, we have the live and the neutral, and then the Y is the black, which is the switch. So if I plug this in, as it is now, which is live and neutral, tell you what though, I'll do, do it at the same time, I'll whack this on here. So um, just to remind you, on here again, it will connect to the four splines and the one missing. And then handily, as you turn this round, there's a little cutout. See that cutout? That lines up. So that lines up with the, the shoe. So you know the shoe's in the mid position. You know the valve's in the mid position. So you put that on there. Um, somehow or other, when you try and do it with one hand, that's locked in position. You'd take that off and bang a screw on, but that, that's in, that's mid position. So now if I plug this in, it's gonna power the valve. If I'm quiet and hold this steady long enough, it's gonna move to, uh, let's say a closed position. So this is theoretically a diverter and when the live has power, it will move to the closed position. So the valve moved over from the mid position and that's open and that's open and that's open. So it hasn't worked. It hasn't done what, what, we, what we wanted. So if you lift it up, the head is not connected properly. So that's sort of one one issue that's quite common is the head's not been put on correctly and it doesn't actually move the bloody valve. So check that over. And uh, what I'll do is see if I can stand that up there without it falling over. And then I'll put this back on motor is now motored over and then if I connect up the, the black wire to a bit of power it's now the switch live so the switch live is now moving it from the closed position if I hold it long enough you'll probably hear I'll be quiet now So it's moving it from the closed position uh, to the midway and eventually it will go all the way over to the open position. So if you put that into the switch live, the black, the black is the switch live. <clears throat> but if we get this on here properly, like that and now power it you'll see that it is actually moving the actuator so that is now the open end and as I turn that around that is closed so that is now powered closed by the live, should we say, and then the micro switch has been hit, so that stopped the motor. So in this position, this port is closed, and the flow is coming from, let's say, the heat pump, and it's going to the heating here. 
and it's heating the house and then the timer on hot water has said bloody hell it's uh, cold uh, let's heat up the hot water so the switch live hits the the back wire which I'll do over here without getting a uh, shock so I'll put that black wire into the the live like that and now you'll hear and you'll see that the actuator is moving moving the valve over so it's just closing off the port and at the same time it's opening up the hot water port so now you can see all the way through so the flow from the heat pump is where my fingers wiggling there and now it's coming straight through to here which is the hot water because the switch live is live and this side now the heating is, is closed off so let's say the heating is sorry the hot water is now up to temperature so we'll take off the switch live which is the the black here try not to get shot job done and then the micro switch is now powering the opposite way so if I hold the hot water port open so you can see you'll slowly see the valve is closing so the actuator is is moving it over So that is a diverter. So you can wire it in two ways really. You can wire it as permanent live. And that will always close the valve. And then switch live as the black, which will open the valve. Or you can wire it another way, which is open the valve, power that switch, and then close the valve, power the, the brown. And the neutral is always a neutral. So that's basically a diverter. And then the handy bit with the diverter is you just wire a permanent live, a neutral, and then the switch. And there is a little micro switch in here that when the um, live, permanent live, triggers the valve all the way to, let's say, the closed position, it hits the micro switch and it shuts the motor off, which is quite nice. Whereas if you've got a Honeywell two port, the Synchron motor is always powered and it's always trying to do its stuff. But that's that. Um, so really, when you set these buggers up, you've just got to make sure that the valve is in in the mid position and the mid position that it's in is going to frick between 90 degrees that way and 90 degrees that way so it's halfway it's going to go there or there and then when you've got the valve or the actuator that's going to do exactly the same thing it's going to turn this way and if it turns that way it's then going to turn the spindle this way, which will close off that port. If it turns this way, it's then going to turn the spindle this way and put the shoe and close off that port. So you need to make sure you line them up. So you know it comes in that position with the shoe there. And you know it is there because you're missing uh, a spline. And you know this turns one way or t'other. And then you can get it in the right the right uh, position. With a diverter, you've got the power which will automatically close the valve, which will send it one one way. Yeah, and then when you hit the switch live, it will then send it the other way. And that's how the diverter works. But theoretically, you could use. Um, a mixer 
because it does the same bloody thing. If you give uh, power to the blue, it will turn clockwise. If you give power to the black, it will turn anti-clockwise or counterclockwise if you're American. So it will do the same thing. If we wire it up wrong and it turns anti-clockwise and then uh, clockwise, all we have to do is turn, change the change the wires. So on here we've got a neutral and then a brown and black. Power it one one cable and it will move it one way. Power the other cable and it will move it the other way. Um, I suppose if you were being sensible and you didn't want um, to balls up the heating and hot water and this valve lost something in the motor or whatever i've got a failed one down there but the, all the pcb is gone in in here then yeah the the diverter is better because every time it has power on the brown it always goes to the closed position let's say it closes off that port always closes off the hot water if you're running a heat pump um so if i set up this diverter or, or or mixer uh head um and then i'll do the same thing um and then we'll wire it in and then it will do exactly the same thing and move this body and then you can see how that goes <laughs>